Okay, we finished our morning coffee. That was amazing as always. So delicious. Now, since it's not raining today, uh, we were gonna quickly duck down to Katakoron way just to do a bit of exploring while there's some sun. But, um, yeah, from it. But since we haven't been up to around near along the water, like Paradise Beach, Freedom Beach kind of thing, we thought we'd take a quick cruise up there and see if there's a pretty view, see if anything looks different. Let's explore. Let's go. Okay, let's go. I've been down this part of Beach Road, but looks to be a lot of new new development. And by new, I mean since the last time I was here, not necessarily built recently. whatever you want to call it. There is a vacation rental, a villa called the White, uh, the White House or the White Villa, something like that. It's like four levels. It looks like they've ended right there. There's no construction or anything going on or no, there's no, no signage or detours, markings or anything. Probably uh, not going to be a good option for you. Unless you want to spend a fortune getting grounds or something like that. Okay, so on the way back, the 
camera will be pointing in the other direction. You'll be able to see the amazing view over the water. It is absolutely breathtaking over the, the Patong Bay area. Damn it! Just passed a sign that says Paradise Beach is closed for filming. So driving out this way you can see quite a few uh, hotels and, and resorts sort of all out of the, the main oh, main tourist district. Marriott took, took it past a very large family mart and a very large 7-Eleven out here. Uh, basically standalone buildings, that's how big they are. And completely closed up, completely boarded up. Uh, so obviously coming out this far out from Patong Central uh, There just hasn't been enough tourism to keep a lot of these businesses around here open The sign said until 31st of May. I thought it said 31st of March. Oh, did it? Yeah. So it's probably an old sign, the family's finished. Could be. Uh, but... That's the one where you've got to pay. Yeah. So we don't really have time to check it out today. Nah. And one of those cafes, like to stop that last time, it'd be nice to have a drink. But, probably don't have time either, because we've got sunlight. Yeah. Well, head to robot. Uh, the other side just down the bottom side of the island? Yeah, yeah. Uh, nah. Well, may, but maybe we'll save all the snorkel stuff for uh, Samui and Ao Nang. Yeah. Ow. Come up now, it's going to be some really nice spots, hopefully on camera, overlooking Batong Bay. It is getting a little bit darker with some of these clouds. It's probably only been about 15 minutes since we drove up the hill with very clear skies, so it can change quite quickly. See your wave.
heading south now down to uh, Rawai and Naihan Beach so that's the far south end of Phuket Island and if anyone knows the answer please let me know in the comments with Phuket being an island in Thailand but only known as Phuket or Phuket Island whereas all of the other islands that we've seen or been to are all Ko so Ko Samui, Ko Penyang, Ko Pipi with with Parapari to the island but I've never heard Ko Phuket before is that just based on the sheer size of the island compared to the other ones? Or is there another reason? So if anyone knows, please let me know in the comments. Just coming down the hill now, just about to pass through uh, Caron Beach on the way down south. Another great stop in Phuket. A little bit out of the way from the uh, the classic Patong Beach main touristy area. There is a lot of uh, a lot of tourism still in Caron but a very different atmosphere, a very lighter atmosphere. So I'd say probably more, more for families, older couples, that sort of thing. exchange places for Australian dollar today was just 22 whereas back in Patong uh, this morning I saw a 24 and last night we changed money for 24.2 baht to the Aussie dollar so very big difference two baht to the dollar difference uh, just maybe 15 20 minutes down the road from from Patong Beach But it is quite a much more competitive market uh, for almost everything at the Tong Beach. Although in saying that, considering how quiet it is here, there seems to still be a lot open uh, by comparison. But I suppose we're on the beachfront now, so a lot more probably would be open on the beachfront, I guess. So after a quick check on the maps, make sure we're going in the right direction.
I've actually been here uh, a couple of times. I think almost every single trip that we've had, um, at least that we've had the bike, not to mention. And we've been here at least twice with Ark yeah. on the tuk tuk. Yeah. It's an awesome spot, awesome view. Okay, Dow. Continuing on to Rawai Beach. Let's do it.
fucking booze back there. Uh, I would stop and take the right, but I can pretty much guarantee it's going to be horrendous this far out of town. Right now we are in Railway, and we might, since there's still pretty good sun, we might stop for lunch on the beach again. We've already done, whoa, we've already done a previous video. years ago but this video is about seeing how different things are uh, post this global situation once the world is reopened so re repeating a few spots is uh, not so bad things could have changed a lot over the years Get bark bucks. Don't see very many of them. come down the hill from this side on previous trips but just taking a left here you can still take the Nyhan beach route to go to away it'll just take you close to the shoreline first whereas this is the shorter route it only saves about a minute or two but considering that's where we're going for lunch it just takes us there a little bit quicker We'll also park this way, we'll go past Compton Cape as well, another great viewpoint. could do a full circle if we really wanted to and go take the left on the way back to go to Carter Caron and then back to Patong. Might be the long way around though I think. No, I think that takes the main road. On oh, the main road and back so it's a quicker yeah, way. That's why I beat you last time because you went back the way. Ah the yeah yeah. Coast road and I went that way. Yeah. yeah cool so we go a different way back. Actually yeah because that'll take us up past um, that main road up the hill that shows the Big Buddha right? Alright, so see you only be a couple of minutes away from Rawai. Move over, not pull over. Oh. You're in the way of the car. Wow, look at that. 
look at all the speed boats here as well. You don't normally see that, that's for sure. spots in Rawai along the fishing pier. I'm going to stop in there for a quick bite to eat. Got Chalong Pier up on the right here. So this is the main pier off the southern end of the island. Uh, when we head to Krabi in a couple of days we'll be heading to the Rosada Pier, which is the main pier on the northern, uh, north, northeastern end of the island. Uh, just has a better access accessibility there to go straight to Krabi, which uh, we're heading to by a speedboat, which should only take us about two hours to get there on the speedboat, as opposed to the uh, four and a half hour ferry. All right, here we are. Down where these beams are, used to all be uh, all be parking. Did we come in the, in the car last time? That's where we went to that little um, the restaurant. Yeah. Do so you want to park over here? Uh, do you want to go one of these or do you want to go on the beach? I'll go one of these. Uh, we haven't been here since. It's been years since we come through. I'd like to have a look. We don't have a view here. Yeah. No, I mean to walk and have a look. But you want to go what? Have something to eat on with a view. I didn't really see much. It was more boats and stuff over there, wasn't it? Yeah. I'd rather eat here and then walk there. Probably having something light anyway, so they're not going to be here for long. Not there, no. The mini sea? Yeah, it's like over there, a bit Yeah. Wow, I've lost two bars of fuel. Didn't think it was that much. Up the car. Two three nine five here, so way better than um, Carter. Ah, oh, okay. There's plenty of bike spots here, but on the other side. So he would have to go around the other side and park. Busy. Compared to Considering how things have been everywhere else since we've been back. Oh, bar here. A nice pool I've seen. Can you put on the left? Jeez. I wonder if that was the now closed funnies. Uh, well, Do you remember the oh, yeah. Hooters ripper? Yeah. Was it Rawai or was it... Uh, I, d I didn't think that one was on the, on the water. Uh, I remember we got confused with it. No, I'm sure it. Yeah, I'm sure it was Rawai. I think we were thinking maybe it was some Nui. Yeah. That's how we looked it up down here. And we're saying it was way, way out of the 
the town area. Well, that one not off. Yeah. Yeah, all fresh too, freshly caught this morning. Little lobsters. Actually looking for Trying to see if we can find our mate's restaurant. Oh. So, so what is it? You get to uh, Get your fresh seafood and I think they cook it up over at one of these restaurants on the left, don't they? Yeah, you can go and sit down and eat. I've never been too big a fan on seafood. Oh. Yeah, well, I think we're pretty much at the end here. I don't think all my restaurants going to be anywhere. Yeah. Little Lexi. Yes, but in here we have a white pepper. Oh yeah. The Thai stuff. Like these. Hundred for a pad Thai chicken. Two people. <laughs> no, that's not Chalong Pier, is it? No. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the other side. That's right, yeah, we've passed that already. This, this is the bottom, it's on the other side this of the, the bottom. This is the fishing pier. Looking, still looking. <laughs> fish, fish. The fire salad is a negative for me. I don't want a seafood for fire salad. I want a even standard one. So that's I'm not. So 150-ish uh, is pretty much the standard for a Thai dish here. I'm seeing a couple of 100s, uh, like the fried rice and the pad Thai's, they're 100. A lot of stuff that's unavailable at the moment. Uh, some vegetarian dishes for 80 there. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. Ah. Uh, okay. That's one downside for the sun being out, especially in a fish market. That smell. So I so see it's got straight up this way. Let's see. Straight up this way. The first turn is this one here, Soy Sayun, where the Asia Bar is and the Jazz Jasmine Bar. So it'll take us there, and we basically just cut straight across the island. So we'll just have to keep checking occasionally. Phil? All right.
All right, we just parked up at the top of the entrance to Rock Beach Wing. If you are wondering how to get there, the Carter Viewpoint, or is that Coron Viewpoint? Uh, Car Carter Viewpoint. viewpoint yeah. um, it's literally right next to where the parking is up on the viewpoint there. There's a little road to go down. Only about, uh, what, 150 metres or something? Yeah. And there's another little turn off where the sign says in Rock Beach. And then you park. You know what, looking at it now, probably a good thing we didn't drive down here. This looks like a type of road. Ah, okay. Oh, no. Are you going? Just are you walking. Going? Oh, just walking. No, it's pirate. They're not far. No, it's okay. It's pirate. We're going here. Yeah. I have to buy a ticket for any time there. Oh, uh, okay. We're up there. Yeah. Now we'll go back. Yeah. What? This section here where it goes down a private road to the Rock Beach Swing. There is a little stand there that just says Rock Beach Swing. Uh, this way, uh, it's just closed every Wednesday for one. It's got a contact number uh, for Rock Beach Swing. Uh, yeah, and a little stand, but nothing specifies a price or a ticket or anything. So. Chicken, I think. Chicken. Yeah. Okay. Eat me or take away. Eat here. Uh, I'll be at uh, um, Nikki's bar. Nikki's bar, okay. okay. Spicy or spicy? Spicy, spicy. Okay. Thank you. 